Hi, this is Danny from Overlyzer with a new video with some recommendations and tips and tricks on how to use Overlyzer more efficiently. Um, first of all, for the Android users in our community, check Google Play Store because the Overlyzer Android app is now available. Uh, go download it and give us a nice review or rating. Uh, appreciate it and have fun with the Android app of Overlyzer. So today we will have a look on a couple of uh, uh, quite typical examples on how to use Overlyzer. Uh, first of all, we have uh, the Meister dialed in in Faroe Islands with uh, B68 against Vikingur. It's 2-1 and as we can see in the pregame odds here, uh, 12 for a home win. Uh, this is uh, yeah, a very unlikely result overall. And we can also see in the second half, uh, Vikingur, who were cl clear favorites with uh, 1.18 pregame odds for a win, are exerting a lot of pressure. And uh, the home team scored right here, uh, especially in a, in a phase where Vikingur were going for their second goal. But there are still nine minutes plus injury time to go. So in this case, uh, we're quite sure that Vikingur will score again, as we can see in these graphs, because, uh, yeah, it's, again, it's, it's raising. So, um, next goal, Vikingur, double chance x2, um, Vikingur over 1.5 team goals. These are the, the clear options for this game. Uh, we're quite sure that uh, they will score in the last stages of the game. Then we have another game uh, from Denmark. Denmark series group four with uh, Silkeborg against WRI. Also here, uh, the home team is quite clear favorite with 1.65 pregame odds. And uh, they conceded a goal just after two minutes, of, as we can see in the ticker here. In the second minute, uh, we are I scored. But um, Silkeborg is exerting quite good pressure over the first half. Uh, here is the one phase, here was the second phase. Uh, we can expect here that the home team who were favorites in this game and have now a life winning odds of 3.0. Um, will go on like this and uh, be the more active team. So in this case, uh, we can go for a 1x double chance. So uh, Silkeborg is not losing this game because overall WRI doesn't have uh, so big pressure phases. They just had a good situation in the beginning of the game when scoring just after two minutes, but afterwards they stayed uh, quite inactive in comparison to Silkeborg, of course. So in this case, we can go for a double chance 1x, or uh, if you want it more risky, uh, you can also go for a home win or, f or uh, Silkeborg over 1.5 team goals. And then we got the third game. Uh, it's from Esiliga in Estonia. It's Mardu against Pernu. Uh, also here, clear thing before the game, uh, 1.19 for a home win. And uh, yeah, they, they do it just as expected. 2-0 uh, after half an hour uh, in the 10th and in the 31st minute. And uh, in this case, as we can see here, four zero shots on target, seven zero shots off target, two one corner kicks, uh, far more attacks. Also two yellow cards for the away team, so also uh, expulsion is possible in this game. Uh, we go for over 3.5 team goals, which means that Mardu, the home team, will score at least four goals in this game. Yeah, we think this is also a good pick, and uh, yeah, we will now like click on the little favorite icon. So we have all the three games that we uh, just talked about on one list. Here is the second game and up here is Vikingur, the third game. If we click on favorites right here, then we have these three games filtered out of 18. Yeah, and for now, uh, we take a break right here. And if anything happens in these games, uh, we will check back and explain what happened. See you later. Okay, we're back after just seconds because Vikingur just scored the equalizer. 85th minute, as we told you, uh, the pressure was too high. It was clear that they would, would score. They, they played a very good second half and uh, conceded this goal, uh, which was very unlikely. But now, uh, yeah, here is the icon for the second goal. Yeah, it was quite clear that they who were uh, 
clear favorite by pregame odds would score again. And so it's 2-2 now, and this is the first pick that's through, and now we can uncheck the little favorite icon. So we unfollow this game and wait for something to happen uh, in the other two games, in Denmark and in Estonia. Check back later, see you then. Checking back again, Mardu just scored the 3-0 uh, immediately before halftime. It was uh, 45th minute plus one, we're already in injury time. And now they scored the 3-0, but as we can see in here, okay, this also happens sometimes. Uh, yeah, goal was cancelled, so it's still 2-0. Sorry for that, we check back later. Can be strange at times. Um, we are right, just scored the second goal because Silkeborg didn't find so good in the second half. But this is also a good example um, that it's always good to wait how a team finds into the second half and how the other team is reacting on what they do. But uh, yeah, this, this will be a, a tough pick because we said that Silkeborg. Uh, will not lose this game or scores two goals. Yeah, but still possible. Um, we stay patient, we check back later, and also Mardu against Pernu uh, is already in second half, 52nd minute, and here things clear, like home team is still better. Yeah, we check back in a couple of minutes and hope that Silkeborg wakes up. All right, we're back in the last minutes of the games. Mardu just scored the uh, 3 0. Pernu already got a red card here. Here it is, the icon for the third goal that was just scored. But unfortunately, Silkeborg doesn't look so good. Uh, they were clearly better in the first half, but uh, they're struggling in the second. And uh, it's a quite even game here, and it's already 0 2 now for WRI, and there are just seven minutes to go. Uh, it's very unlikely that we will win our pick here, but uh, let's see. And we are back with the fourth goal of Mardu, it's 4-0, and so our pick here is through the Mardu over 3.5 team goals. So we can uncheck the favorite icon and hope for a little sensation here in Silkeborg, it's still 0-2, 85 minutes played. This game will disappear now, yep, and we'll check back in the last minute of this game. We're already in injury time in Silkeborg and they just scored the 1-2 in the 91st minute. Um, yeah, as you can see, this was the, the kind of pressure we were expecting over the whole second half. Um, they are now pushing... Uh, it's going to the end of the game and now they have a quite good gap here of uh, almost 50% of uh, pressure in comparison to WRI and now they scored uh, their first goal but very late unfortunately. So yeah, in this case uh, we can also think it this way. It was also a quite good example. We thought that uh, they won't lose this game and obviously it's not over yet so possibly they will score another one but uh, very unlikely, of course. Um, but uh, yeah, they, they just didn't find so well in the second half as we expected it, conceded the second one, and uh, just now they scored the one two. To avoid such uh, picks, uh, you could always wait for uh, the beginning of the second half, for example. So we would say, uh, if you Check for the for the first minutes of second half when it starts right here, and the the blue line, uh, which stands for the pressure of Silkeborg, goes up like uh, in in this direction. Uh, for example, that uh, the pressure uh, comparison between the two teams looks like in this phases of the game. Um, then you can clearly go for the the double chance one x pick. We did this too early because uh, we saw at uh, yeah, in, at this stage of the game where there was a second big pressure phase of Silkeborg, but obviously they didn't find into the second half so good and uh, WRI could uh, do something against it and also score, which was quite unlikely if you uh, have a look on the pressure graphs of the away team from the first half. And overall they were not so good over the whole game, uh, they just scored the second in their, in their biggest... Uh, 
uh, pressure phase. Yeah, but sometimes you win, sometimes you learn. Um, and uh, yeah, of course, we we could have uh, avoided this if we waited for the first minutes of second half. This is always a good uh, tip for you um, because if we have seen how game is developing over the first, let's say, 12 minutes of the uh, second half, we would have uh, maybe not played this pick, the double chance 1x, because we saw that, uh, yeah, Silkeborg didn't start so good into the game. Now it's over full time, but we will take this as a lesson. Uh, two picks are through, and uh, unfortunately, we lost the third one, Silkeborg against VRI. All right, and now we can uncheck the favorites overall because uh, all three games are over. Uh, Mardu still playing, of course, but our pick is already through with the uh, 4-0 with our over 3.5 team goals. All right, hope you enjoyed, hope you learned something. And once again, our recommendation, if you are an Android user, please go to Google Play Store, download our brand new app. It's online since Tuesday. Um, Give us a good rating, give us a review if you like it. We would very much appreciate that. And uh, keep winning with Ovalizer and have a nice week.